Hi and welcome to a new video. In this video I wanted to go through the uh, newly released uh, Netgear Orbi quad band uh, Wi-Fi 6E mesh system. Um, so I, this what got me attention because of the specifications um, that it comes with. So it comes with the new Wi-Fi 6E. It's actually quad band uh, where most are just uh, uh, basically uh, three bands um, of Wi-Fi. Um, and it also it includes a lot of specs so it has 2.5 gigabit Ethernet ports on the satellites and then a 10 gigabit port as well for the internet. So a lot of the specs um, looked really interesting and as a mesh system as well and I used to have the original Orbi um, a long many years ago um, when it was just Wi-Fi 5 and I found them quite good and even though they're, they're actually quite big uh, actual um, the router and also the satellites that come with it are quite big compared to most like the Google's and the, your um, Asus ones and things like that uh, these ones are quite substantially bigger um, but yeah so I saw the specs and everything else and was quite interested um, I was quite surprised that to see that the specifications for the uh, router plus the two satellites what comes in at well basically $1,500 and that's a hell of a lot of money um, to be paying for um, a Wi-Fi system for your house. And of course, if you've got the money, then you, you get the best. Um, and I, right now, this looks uh, amazing. Um, and we'll go through the uh, specs and then the features um, in, in a minute. So yeah, so it's just a uh, take into account that the specifications are very good. Um, and it's using the latest technology. Um, but also you're going to be paying a hefty price for it because even uh, the some of the uh, Asus and TP-Link and the other uh, different ones out the Linksys uh, routers that have got Wi-Fi 6E, I think they're only are hitting around probably about $700. Um, so this is a hell of a lot of money um, to be buying. But as I said, if you've got the money, then why not? Um, but for me, I think it's just out. Um, it's a bit too expensive. Um, currently and also um, previous uh, ex personal experience with Netgear as well as the app was never been um, was always a bit buggy sometimes and also their firmware um, updates is not has been nowhere as good as uh, Asus has been I mean Asus have been constant month on month security updates features um, taking feedback from um, in public forums as well on what features they want and things like that. And then also we've got access to third party one uh, firmware as well using Merlin on some of the uh, newer routers and things like that. So personally, um, as I said in my previous videos, I probably still won't be upgrading to Wi-Fi 6E uh, for at least until next year uh, when hopefully the uh, price of the Wi-Fi 6E uh, routers will start to come down in price uh, but again if you can get hold of one um, you might as well buy that um, so you future proof yourself. So uh, let's move on now to the actual uh, Orbi system itself so as you can see here um, they are coming like a white and a gold color and they've got like a blue LED so they do look quite smart in your house um, so you, you'll be having them kind of thing like this so and I think they designed them and it does look rather nice even though I said that they are the size wise they are quite much bigger but again you've got more antennas in their space and everything else for the reception and you've got a lot of technology in there as we said it's uh, now it's got quad band um, performance so it's a quad band it's got four channels um, for your uh, Wi-Fi so we'll come on to the specs and details in a minute and then we've got the also they're basically because you come with two satellites so you can connect them all so you should have a huge uh, amount of um, connection speed and throughput as well so you won't be losing any speed through here because they've got a backhaul channel that's uh, with the Orbeez is always really good to see um, instead of just sharing the bandwidth and passing it on like some other cheaper ones do and of course it concludes now the Wi-Fi next generation 6E technology so that's the 6 gigahertz frequency so there is some devices I believe like the mobile phones from Samsung um, and then a few of the other makes of tablets and things that are starting to have 6E there's not many but there is um, some out there so I think around here so this 
they're saying for on the Netgear website that this is up to nine plus rooms in a house, um, and that's nine thousand square foot Wi-Fi coverage uh, with this uh, router and the two satellites. So that's a huge area. Um, so if you've got nine plus rooms in your house, I think fifteen hundred dollars to buy this is probably nothing for you. Um, so you probably best option is this right now. I know there is some other ones. Um, out there that you can get but the technology in this is seems to be really good and of course it's got um, as we said the it's up to 10.8 gigabits per second Wi-Fi speed it includes their Netgear armor cyber security so a, a lot of different um, manufacturers have different security built in um, to protect you from uh, viruses malware and then protect you when you're doing spam and things like that and a general uh, Wi-Fi uh, protection. Also it includes the Netgear smart parental controls as well that's all built into the app. So as we can see here it's going to definitely uh, handle uh, the latest uh, streaming devices and everything else. So it's got here we can see that it ha contains 16 uh, simultaneous Wi-Fi streams um, so it can do that uninterrupted video around the house so that's plenty um for even up to 8k uh, i think for basically but of course that's in the future but for 4k i think you're going to have no problems at all um again there so again they're giving you an example here of the wi-fi speed in every room um and like you can see it's a you know as we said it's a big house and the blazing speeds as well that it has on there so again as we said it's the wi-fi 6c so that's now uh, the 6 gigahertz frequencies uh, and then we've got the 5 gigahertz and the still got the 2.4 because as we know a lot of devices still come with 2.4 only like your smart plugs, um, doorbells, uh, some IP cameras still a huge amount that are still being produced to this date are still only on the 2.4 gigahertz frequency um, so again it's um, still good to see they've included that in there and I think that, that will probably stay there for legacy devices for many years to come and again as we said it's got the 5 gigahertz and the 6 gigahertz um, so it's got plenty of bandwidth and growth um, for when you actually start want to start doing it so now as we move on we can see as we've mentioned before with the quad band uh, for maximum performance that they've got here so it's good to see they're using a dedicated connection here so this is here you've you've got access as a user you've got access to the 6 gigahertz the 5 gigahertz and the 2.4 gigahertz frequencies so you can get full bandwidth out of those and none of them are being shared with your satellites or the other connections like some other um, mesh network uh, devices do so you've got this big line here saying a dedicated connection so that's the one where they connect you've got a dedicated band just between the Netgear Orbeez, um, so the router and the satellite and then, then to the other satellite so it doesn't use up anything um, of your other three bands so that's really good to see it, one thing I would say is a bit disappointing is that the dedicated connection here you would think because it's using the new uh, Wi-Fi 6C um, that might use the 6 gigahertz frequency so for the maximum bandwidth and then less interference but it's not um, Netgear have decided to go with the 5 gigahertz frequency um, for the dedicated connection so of course that's still quite fast um, I think it'll be for most general use I think you, you'll be fine and I think why they've gone with the 5 gigahertz um, the older frequency is because of the distance so of course as we know the higher the frequency uh, the less distance you're going to get at speed and it's going to drop off so I think they've gone with the five to be on the safe side but it would have been nice if they gave you the choice on the dedicated connection at this price point to choose either the five or the six um, to, as a connection so at least then you could have done um, you could have had a look at the actual choice and then if you did have a strong enough connection you could change the six you could have a huge bandwidth uh, going between them again you do have the option of ethernet connection as well so you can connect to the ethernet ports each of these as we go on later they have um, basically ethernet ports on the back so um, and they do have a, a extra speed one so the past one gigahertz um, gigabits um, ports so you can use ethernet cables if you've got that and you're lucky enough to run that all through your house and everything else 
So again, so that's just going through the uh, quad band. So as we said, that's quite good. So now we're moving on to the actual wired connection. So you can see this is the back of the uh, router. Um, so the router now ha actually has a 10 gigabit WAN port. Um, so that's 10 gigabits per second uh, for your internet. So of course, uh, we know most people have got fiber nowadays. So you'll probably be getting one gigabit um, connection but this is going to future proof it all the way to 10. Um, so th this is uh, really good to see that they've actually put this in here um, and not just a five or a 2.5 or something like that. Um, so yeah, so it's fantastic to see that they've added that. Again, this internet port, I do believe you cannot change to a LAN port. This is only dedicated to the, um, for the WAN, so for your internet. So then as we come on here, so what they've changed now, so before in the older Orbeez, they had just had four Ethernet, one gigabit ports. So now they've upgraded the backhaul one um, for your LAN, and then they've upgraded that to the 2.5 gigabit uh, wide uh, connection as well. So it's good to see they've upgraded that to the 2.5. Again, they seem to have done it. I don't know why they would go to 2.5 and not go to 5 at this price point, a 5 gigabit or even a 10 gigabit there. I know 10 gigabit are probably still quite expensive to manufacture, but they could have gone to at least a 5. Um, so people have got this multiple network um, with all these new latest bands and the Wi-Fi 6C, and they want the strongest and the fastest backhaul behind it, and you're only giving them 2.5. Um, it seems a bit strange to be honest why they would uh, lower that down to 2.5 at least 5 would be the min I would presumed but anyway they've gone with that and then again you've got the standard 3 uh, ethernet ports for your normal gigabit ethernet ports here as well and as you can see you've got a reset switch and then you've got the power um, a light there for the DC power and then the power switch you also on the left hand side you have the sync so basically you synchronize uh, the two uh, all be satellites with your um, basically with the router so as we can see here you've got different um, options from the new Orbeez so you've got here on there basically they're saying about this is the latest one so the quad band this is the one we're looking at and it's range up to 9,000 feet uh, 10.8 gigabits per second and devices are 200 plus then this is the their older uh, versions that they have here Again, these are really good as well um, for the range as well uh, for the tri-band. But again, I think the price hopefully will come down in the older ones. Um, so it will be good. So then we go on to the Netgear Armour, as we said. So Netgear Armour is their cybersecurity protection. Um, so this protects your house from viruses, malware and things like that. Um, and also I believe it's quite good because it also it tells you if you've got a smart plug by certain manufacturers and you haven't changed the default passwords, it will identify that and then uh, alert you on the app to say to you, you, you've still got the default password for security you need to change that. So that's really good that they've gone that extra mile um, to actually identify that. Again, there is limitations with these ones as we've found before is that sometimes uh, these are not foolproof, so don't rely on them 100%. Always still install antivirus software um, on your computer because what these do, they can't normally get through the actual um, secure connections like most of us are using now, the HTTPS. Because um, then uh, encrypted connections, if it starts interfering with that, then the web browsers won't like it and then they, they will throw an error up as well. So it, it does have its limitations um, when they start going on about this uh, cyber security. It's like our other manufacturers as well. You've got to take it with a, a bit of pinch of salt and not rely on it 100%. So always still install antivirus software. We then have the uh, parental controls app. So within the main uh, Netgear app, you've got the smart parental controls now. So it's good to see they've updated this as well, where you can see all your connected uh, devices, and then also you can see how they're using the devices. And of course, you can then put them on a schedule so you can have them switch off before bedtime and things like that. So it gives good uh, possibilities as well for um, making sure you they're doing right. And as you can see here, they do like things like reward as well. So if they're using 
uh, the internet less and then at dinner time they're using their phone and things like you can set up schedules and things like that and profiles so it's really good to see that they're, they're going into more uh, details on that one than there so as we can see here the easy setup so basically they're just saying that you need to download the Orbi app and follow the instructions connect to the Orbi to your um, existing uh, modem and power and then place the Orbi satellite in another part of your home the other two and then get them connected as well so it seems to be quite straightforward you can see and they do the apps for both Apple um, iPhones iPads and um, things like that and then also for Android as well uh, phones and tablets so of course you could probably still use the web interface like I normally like using um, but it, it may mean you have to manually connect by Wi-Fi to the Orbeez um, so lastly if we then go on to the technical specifications of the devices as we can see here um, so again it's just showing us its height is 11 inches um, and wide is 7.5 inches and that's the same for the router and the satellites um, as we said we've got the sync uh, button there you got the 10 gigabit WAN port or your internet port your 2.5 gigabit uh, ethernet port and three ethernet ports there as well and on the satellites they have a sync button as well and then the 2.5 gigabit ethernet port and three ethernet ports on the back so it's good that they're actually even on the satellites they've got multiple ethernet ports as well so of course you might have these around on your desk or upstairs and multiple places so you can still actually hardwire devices into this um, and actually get a good throughput so this has just been a quick rundown of actually the new uh, Netgear Orbi. As we said, it's, it is actually quite um, interesting and it's using all the latest technology um, out there that you can see, um, using, especially using quad band and it's got 10 gigabit ethernet for your internet and then 2.5 gigabit ethernet ports and then three um, gigabit um, for your uh, LAN. It has the armor security, the parental controls, and it covers, as we said, 9,000 square feet. So that would cover, I think, most people's homes um, more than enough. It's just the price, I think, is 1,500 pounds, uh, sorry, $1,500. Um, and it probably when it does come to the UK, I don't think the exchange rate normally works out very well. So it'll probably still be about 1,400 pounds in the UK. Hopefully it'll be less. Um, but yeah, I think, price wise I think it's just not worth the price right now um, it does have really good features but again as I said if you've got nine plus rooms in your house you're probably not worried about fifteen hundred dollars so um, you could probably afford this and I'd say if you have them to buy it because it is it does seem to future proof you very well and it's easy to set up and Netgear do have good um, when I've contacted them before and their customer support has always been uh, good okay so uh, hope you've enjoyed and found this uh, a bit informative on the new technology that's just come out from uh, Netgear and their Wi-Fi uh, quad band or B mesh system if you do have any questions or anything like that and I'd like to hear as well in the comments to see if if you're planning on to upgrade to Wi-Fi 6e um, and then do you actually have any devices that are uh, Wi-Fi 6e or 6 gigahertz um, frequency um, do you have any in the household? Because currently I don't. I think everything is still on the 5 gigahertz. And then um, also majority is probably still legacy on the 2.4 gigahertz as well. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, have a great day.